Brad Clay. Oh, that's Muscle Boy? You're Muscle Boy 81? Is that what you're telling me? I mean, I don't want to necessarily, you know, be the person to judge somebody, but you don't really look like a Muscle Boy to me, Brad. I'm just throwing it out there, my friend. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Main Lining. I'm your host, the Birdman Notice Notice Falcon. No, we are not in my startup screen for my pirated and very much counterfeit version of Windows XP, which is called Rainbow's MI7. This is actually the startup screen to um, Mainlining, which is a really cool game I've been keeping my eye on for a while now, and I have, an access, I have access here for it to show it off here today. Now, if you're wondering what Mainlining is all about, very good question. It's essentially a point-and-click cyber adventure game, cyber detective game. You play the role as a cyber detective. You're part of this big corporation. Your main goal is to obviously stop cyber crime from happening. So first and foremost, let's actually make a new game here for ourselves. Um, I love how this starts off, by the way. I'm not going to spoil it just yet, but it's a really cool little startup sequence. So let me just shut up and you guys can see this here. Uh-oh! So as we were trying to sign on to our server over in the mainlining detective agency thing for cybercrimes, we unfortunately crashed. A problem has been detected and Rainbows has been shut down to prevent damage to your computer. Um, so we were unable to load image for some reason. Let's go ahead and press any key to continue. And here is Rainbows MI7 loading back up again. Man, I don't know what, why, but this right here just gives me so much nostalgia. Like, I think it was like the first time I... I want to say the first time I ever really had, like, access to a full-time PC. I think it was on Windows XP, actually. Maybe that's the reason why it's, like, so nostalgic to me. Um, anyway, type, um, your first name. Go with Falcon over here. <laughs> oh, we gotta go with the chess piece. This was my first avatar. My legit first avatar. So I'm gonna go with this one right here for nostalgia's sake alone. And here we go, logging back into the server of mainlining. So over here, there's going to be a lot of internal chat going on between a bunch of detectives of the system, or not the system, but the agency. Normally telling you, kind of like giving you hints what to do, what's happening. So let's see here, we have Sharp. Well, that wasn't the best start. I'll email you the report, download it when you get a chance. Damn it, the blogs are going to have a field day. Why do I have to wait to read your daily case file to find out that we've been breached? So we have indeed been breached, which is the reason why we crashed here. Um, so we have a couple of emails. This is going to be from Ash Barnes. Hey everyone, thanks for welcoming me to MI7. So exciting. Smiley face. Why are you putting smiley face in a very professional agency here, Ash? It's not very professional, Ash. Come on, you know better than this. Uh, I'll be your new receptionist. Sorry I wasn't in to greet you this morning. I went out of my way to bring muffins, but it took longer than I thought. And I missed you all together, Ash. Alrighty. Again, it's it's uh, definitely an adventure game, so there's going to be a lot of story in between. So you do the f case files, but there's going to be a lot of interactions about this. And this is actually kind of important down the line, too. So this is from... This is going to be the arrest guidelines. Um, I'll talk more about this here pretty soon. I have done the first case already, so just keep that in mind. I did that so I knew what to explain to you how this game worked down here to begin with. Um, so this will be the arrest guidelines we just downloaded. Over here, this will be the case file for this one here today. As I mentioned already, we were indeed breached. So let's go ahead and um, download the case file. We can get it over email now. Let's go over to our documents here. And the arrest guide will basically tell you in a nutshell. Oh no, this is me in a nutshell. Oh, how did I get into nut this big? Uh, you know, Austin Powers aside. Um, in a nutshell, it tells you what the type of um, arrest you can do are. So... For selling prohibited items, drugs, and stuff like that, you get a sentence of 5 years in prison. For data theft, identity theft, you get 15 years. And for s developing illegal software, malicious software, stuff like that, you get 25 years. So, these are the type of sentences you can actually deal with. And over here we have our first case file, which is whoever breached into our network. On January 23rd, 2010, MI7 suffered a serious breach resulting in data loss. An investigation is underway to determine how the perpetrator gained access and overcame the firewall. Our search is currently focused on www.freedomwire.bp, an unindexed file sharing website that appears to be engaged in illegal activity across multiple sectors. After gaining access to our system, an uninvited guest logged in from an unknown FreedomWire moderator account, MuscleBoy81. Discover the identity of the owner of the screen name, MuscleBoy81, and connect the guilty party to evidence linking them to another crime. 
the public must not know, must not be made aware that MI7 was subject to this breach. So, you see how, you know, sketchy it is? Like, you know, we're not bringing him in for breaching here, although that's the reason why we want him. But we want to give the public a different reason why we're arresting this guy, so then we could basically grill him for, you know, the overall bigger picture. Like, why did he do it? How did he do it? Because there's obviously something bigger happening here now. Over here we have the military intelligence. This will tell you that you need the name of the person, the location, and one important piece of evidence to make an arrest. And this will tell you everybody that is in our database that are essentially going to be the, the subjects of the crime going forward with here. So, for now, let's go ahead and kill this, and kill that, and kill that. Um, I'll read this on occasion, but if I miss something, just go ahead and read it yourselves, because I kind of know what I'm doing here for this case here. So, what we're doing right now is we have another email by Ash again. Hey again, maybe we should get a drink and have a proper chat sometime. Ash. Ash, I haven't even met you personally. You're already asking me out for drinks. Stop it. All right, so we're going to check out the website. Oh, ho, ho. That brings me back to that old dial-ups. Wowie. We've come a long way, haven't we? I mean, assuming you're of my age and you experience that whole dial-up era. So we're going over to freedomwire.bp. I probably misspelled that. Knowing me. Freedomwire.bp Okay. Freedomwire. Welcome to Freedomwire, the newest file sharing location. <laughs> Is this like a... By the way, there's gonna be a bunch of like references to a lot of like, you know... You know, stuff in history, culture, stuff like that. For some reason, this gives me like a really big Napster vibe. You guys remember Napster? Oh, I'm going back to grandpa times here too again. Uh, welcome to Freedom Wire. Right, right, we read that. Between the five moderators on this site, we have 15 years of experience. We never leave our bedrooms, PCs. Eh, sounds like something they would say. MI7 can't stop us. And over here, we have a couple of top downloads at the moment at their website. Dream.exe. We have Shrekcraft 2. <laughs> Heart of the... Is that Heart of the Boogaloo? It could be. An incredible bulk. Exactly, whatever. Alrighty. So let's bring this up. This is going to be our mainline system, and this is how we essentially hack into websites. We actually start going through their systems, start looking through the files, and essentially get our evidence and information about people. So at the moment, let's actually start off by going into help. And these are the commands we have in our server. We have clear, we have help, IP hack, ping, and switch users. We're going to be doing a lot of these down the line. But for now, uh, we know the website that the um, moderator hack came from. So we need to get the we need to get the IP first. So let's go ahead and ping www.freedomwire.bp. And that's the IP address right there. Now you notice that shake, right? It's happening for a reason. Now I'll talk to you more about what I'm doing here, but give me a second. Uh-huh. We'll read what's happening here soon. 23. Okay. So we do have a notepad. How, <laughs> how very, um, you know, technology advanced here for a uh, legit detective agency that deals with cybercrime. Just bring up notepad. This is what I do when I set up my schedules for, you know, releasing videos on YouTube. I, I pull up notepad. I'm kind of like, all right, what am I releasing today, tomorrow, the day after? That's what I do. Anyway, this is going to be our notepad for notes, obviously. So we know that we have MuscleBoy81, and this is the website, or this is the address to the website itself. Let's read what happened here. So as we kind of infiltrated the website, Mr. Blue talked to us. Hello, Mr. Green. I see you are trying to access my machine. Say hello to my friend, Mr. Red. And he, what he did was he was still in here breached and he just cut off our internet connection altogether. So that's no good. We have no internet connection now. Uh, momentarily, let's go ahead and just kill this. And what we need to do now, let's see. You, by reading this over here, it says the reset password should be on our desktop, our desktop somewhere, um, which is actually in our bin for whatever reason. Excuse me, but in my bin. Um, this will tell you how to do the basic hacks and the areas as well. I'm already comfortable with this, which is kind of what I'm explaining to you, so I'll skip that. Here we go. Net help. To reset your network, click on the network icon at the bottom right of your desktop, and our password is change me. Okay. Change me we go, and we're back online. Not a big deal. But hopefully that guy is now gone from our system as well. Cool. So with this, remember, we already have information about them. We know how to get into their website. It's a matter of just keeping that guy away from us. Here we have another website, another email as well. We have this one from IT. The lookup software and mainline are reinstalled. You have everything at your disposal to apprehend the troll who gatecrashed my kingdom. 
Yours faithfully, Frankie from IT. P.S. I cleaned up your desktop for you. Uh, apparently you did because you put all the shit in my garbage bin, the stuff that I needed to reset my password, dude. And I guess that's kind of like the hint as to where to find how to get back online in case you were kind of like, whoa, how do I get back online? And that's actually the hint that helped me out because I couldn't figure out, I was like, the desktop, but the desktop's empty. I looked in here and I was like, ah, I see. Alrighty, so right now, remember, we know he breached us, so it was, uh, you know, a fraudulent type of attack, right? Just internet breach. But we need to, uh, I guess, hook him up with a different type of um, crime to bring him in because the public can't be made aware that they actually breached us. So what we're looking to do here is find a way to pin him to something else that could bring him in. Now, if we go to their website over here, we do know that the website is apparently attached to some illegal activities. If we go to Special Cases, which is apparently an ad in the website, coming soon, so nothing over here. But if we come over to Grand Trunk BP, negative 10% on Kex. Kek away, everybody. Go ahead and get your Kex out. I think in this universe, though, Kek is a form of drug. And check this out. Drugs, Kek, sold by MuscleBoy81. That would be the very first law that we read that's five years, which is um, the distribution of uh, illegal stuff like drugs. So, we do know that we could attach selling drugs to Muscle Boy now, so we do have a little piece of evidence here to bring him in. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna buy this from him. Get unlimited one-day delivery. <laughs> Grand Trunk Prime. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I love one-day delivery with Amazon Prime myself. Let's go over here and buy this. Thank you for shopping at GrandTrunk.bp. Your order has been purchased. You will receive an email confirmation shortly, which is right over here. And now we could download our receipt. And now we have a little bit of evidence as to, hey, this guy sold us drugs. You don't believe me? Here's the goddamn receipt. So, evidence is now under control. But we don't know much about Muscle Boy just yet. So, what we're going to be doing now is going over to Mainlining. I need to get back into that website and find out about them. So, let's get rid of the, I think the web, the web server, or not the web server, but the browser could go away now. Let's go over here and we will do, uh, we already know the website. Or the address. So what we need to do now is actually hack into the IP. So we'll do IP hack. And we're going for 234 156 223. Okay. And now we're inside the Freedom Wire network itself. So let's go ahead and bring up what list of commands they have. So we could download files off of their server. Help is what we just did. Information displays the user's information. That could be very useful at a muscle boy. List, this will tell us all the files in the directory. We can return and we could also read the contents of a file. So we could read a file or download it itself. So what we're going to do right now is start off by info. So, this is the information of the server. It is The owner of the server is um, Thorn Group, which could be very useful for us down the line. Maybe they're the ones behind the overall pyramid scheme here of hacking into the cyber detective agency. Um, and the location is central, so that's very important. We know that the culprit might be in central as well. Now, let's go ahead over here and we will do... Let's do the list of files here. I think that's going to be important. So, we'll bring up list. So, the type of files they have at the moment is ideas, mad, or mod names. Ooh, that's going to be important. Readme, group photo, and stop message. Let's start off with type ideas first. Uh, network, rework the rating system, 10-star system, let users post feedback, remove ads, and actually host content. So that's going to be unimportant, unimportant for us. So the game will throw stuff to kind of throw you off the trail as well. Lex, let's do mod names. And this should give us some really good information. 420 Kid, blazing it all day, as happens to be Annie's son. Big Boy Blaze happens to be Bud Blaze. Apparently these guys are really into the old, um, you know, puffin, you know? Muscle Boy 81 happens to be Brad Clay, so we now have a name for Muscle Boy. So we are one step closer here. As a matter of fact, I think we're done. Java Joe is happens to be Joe Green, and Creepy Stranger is Neil Smith. So now we have a name to attach to Muscle Boy. And I want to say as well that um, we know he's in Central, right? So I think we got this. Let's see here. Let's do Read Me if we can. Freedom Wire is supported by ad revenue generated by links to third-party content. No content is hosted by Freedom Wire, and Freedom Wire and its moderators take no practical or legal responsibility for the content of yeah, yeah. 
So this is them covering their ass, but remember, what helps us out is that Muscle Boy happens to be selling drugs with his actual mod name from Freedom Wire. So that is our link to this website. So, you know, that guy fucked up. Okay. And let's do... Give me that list again. Group photo. We might have to download that one because it's a image file, obviously. So we'll do download group. I'm not even sure what the hell I was planning to spell there. And here's the group photo. So one of these fellas here is indeed Brad Clay. But remember, we already know the name. We now have an image as photo well attached to it. So let's go over to main, or not mainlining, but our lookup system. And we're looking for Brad Clay here at the moment. So let's see. Brad Clay. Oh, that's Muscle Boy? You're Muscle Boy 81? Is that what you're telling me? I mean, I don't want to necessarily, you know, be the person to judge somebody, but you don't really look like a Muscle Boy to me, Brad. I'm just throwing it out there, my friend. So, male, 29 years old, central residence, occupation, blogger. And we have the order with his name over here. We have an image. We got everything we need. So let's go over here and do an arrest on Brad Clay. Now, if you don't have the proper evidence or you don't have the proper person, the game kind of kicks you back out and you have to retrace your steps again. So keep that in mind. Um, so this is going to be our dude. Indeed, we'll hit next. We need to find a location. Central. Evidence, we have the order for narcotics. Make the arrest. Order confirmed. Keck, Central, Brad Clay, make that arrest happen. Boom! I'll tell you this much right now. I actually failed this the very first time. I, I used the group photo, I think to try to arrest him, and then I realized, well, that's not really evidence, it's just a picture of Brad Clay, which tells us who Brad Clay is, but what's the actual evidence? So, then I figured out, oh, the link to the narcotic thing. Um, blogger sentenced to five years for selling prohibited items. A suspect has been arrested in connection with the online sale of restricted items, an official from the newly reinstated MI7 has confirmed. Brad Clay, known to some as MuscleBoy81, was taken into custody in Kings at 1651 following an online sale of party drug Keck. Keck, Keck, Keck. <laughs> Under the rules of the controversial new Blue Pill Act, the 29-year-old programmer will be held without bail until trial. Expected to plead not guilty, he faces five years in prison if convicted. Alrighty, so case number one is now complete. We will go into number two. I don't think we'll have enough time for number two, guys. But if you guys are enjoying this, do let me know in the comments. I'm leaving a like and maybe we cover more just going forward. I would not be opposed to it. It's actually a really fun in-depth game. I love the idea of just like, you know, skimming through files, trying to piece together a case. It's actually kind of fun. Um, Clay talked in detention. Something about hair. It's some kind of club drug running through Ocean Beach Airport. What are we doing with this intel? Case files are going out now. Good. Let's get started then. So, again, we brought him in for something completely different, but the reason why we did this is because we wanted to get the overall, like, why, why is this happening type of thing. You know, the entire pyramid scheme I mentioned. And here's Ash asking for a date again, apparently. Ash, come on, dude. I mean, not dude, I guess dudette would be more ideal, but still. Hey there, you. So I hope this isn't too forward, but seeing as I'm new in town, I have to make a bit of an effort to get out there and meet people and find my bearings. Was thinking maybe you could show me around. I bet you know all the best secret spots. Ash. I'm sorry, Ash. You sending me those um, smiley faces and really winning over my heart. Hair today is the subject. Oh, very funny. Hair today, gone tomorrow. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, so funny. Uh. I'm not sure what that voice was. It sounded like I was actually in pain, though, didn't it? Afternoon. Here's the new case file. Apologies for the punny subject line. Cooper made me. By the way, this Cooper thing, I kind of do know something of uh, case number two. The Cooper thing, yeah, I'm not going to spoil it, but if you are familiar with a particular awesome show, which is making a comeback really soon after being off the air for a long time, I think it's the Cooper reference. Um, anyway, great news team. Each year, the International New Age Security Syndicate confers that INASS, INASS, <laughs> it's the INASS Achievement Award, <laughs> on a distinguished uh, proponent of justice. Yeah, well, um, okay. Please join, yeah, Flockhart, Callista Flockhart, what are you, Allie McBeal or something, or what? Alright, so that's, that's fine. Did we get the, no, we didn't download this. <laughs> that's kind of really important, Falcon. So here is case file number two. Documents. Alrighty, 
MI7 has enlisted the services of MI5 Special Agent Cooper. Special Agent Cooper. For work in the field, the agent will intercept the delivery of hair from the Ocean Bank beach port, fit it with a tracking mechanism, and return it to our associate at specialcases.bp, where it will be held for pickup by our suspect. This case is first and foremost a fact-finding mission, but we must still hit arrest targets, bring in a suspect on all credible on on uncredible charges. It's kind of weird there. Uh, no reason to have two of those, I'm pretty sure. Go to www.mi7.bp to download the tracking map. Okay. mi7.bp for the tracking map. And we could probably kill you too. So, mi7.bp. And here's our website. Ensuring your cyber safety is what we do. Censorship, data, propaganda. Uh, let's go over to who we are. Yeah, that's who we are. Careers. But what we're looking to do is currently get into the employee login here. Employee zone! Today's inspiration, security is, I would say, our top priority because of all the exciting things you will be able to do with computers. Gil Bates? <laughs> Gil Bates, huh? Download a parking permit? Sure, I want to have a parking permit. And link to the map download. Here we go! Oh look, it's fucking Google Maps now. Or should I say Google Earth? Hey Earth, download the map application. And now we're downloading it to our little setup here, I'm pretty sure, right? Yep. There it is. Excelente. Alrighty, guys. And with that, we are out of time here today. To give you an idea what this one we're going to be doing here, we're going to be tracking down this entire thing. So, not only is it just about finding facts over and over and digging through, like, you know, IP servers, you actually do stuff like this. There's a bunch of different type of cases involved. But overall, it does lead to the overall main story down the line. But it's up to us to kind of get to that point. But as I mentioned, if you guys enjoyed and want to see some more, I'm not opposed to doing some more of this. Let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a like. All the information for the game will be down below. I will catch you next time.